So today I'm going to be doing my updated current planners, projects and journals video. I think the last time I did this video was back in September, I think, not 100% sure but I think it was around that time. And obviously since then um, I finished projects, I started new ones and so I thought I would update you guys. So first up I've got my smash book. I did say in my finished flip through that I was going to be starting this smash book and a Lardy Dahl book. But I haven't got into the Lardy Dahl book yet, so obviously I'm not going to include it in my currents video. I'm still planning to, I've just not got around to it. So yeah, I've got this smash book. I've done, obviously, smash book session videos on this, so you know the sort of thing that I'm going to be using this for. A new one I've started is my scrapbook. I haven't done scrapbooking for ages, and I started this scrapbook about a month or so ago. This isn't something that I'm going to be sharing with you guys, because it's going to be more personal and it's going to have photos and stuff. But if I find a page, I'm just going to cover up the little caption and memory I wrote on the side. But yeah, this is kind of how I'm decorating it. It's pretty similar to my smashbooking style. And the actual scrapbook is a paper chase scrapbook. It doesn't take bulk too well, so I try to keep everything in here quite flat with decoration and stuff. But yeah, that's my scrapbook. I've then got my Happy Dory, which in here is, I suppose, some sort of art journaling insert. Um, I have posted photos of this on my Instagram. Um, so in here, I pretty much, I have one really chubby insert and then I have a plastic zip pocket, which on the other side has a big pocket and then it's got three little card slots on the other side. I have kind of gone through this in a previous video, but yeah, I pretty much, I use things, collage them together, um, write little quotes, um, just everything kind of positive goes in here, but that is how I'm using my Happy Dory at the moment. I'm now going to go through my more written journals. These are the two journals that I'm doing every day. There is the One Line A Day 5 Year Memory Book, which I got for my birthday last year, but I know you can find them on Amazon, um, and the Sentence A Day book, which is from Kiki K. I'm not sure if this exact design is available right now, but I know they do different they have loads of different collections, and I'm pretty sure a lot of them have some sort of Sentence A Day book. You might be wondering why I'm doing two daily memory books. This one doesn't have prompts. In here I put basically a little sum up of the day, so what we did, if anything interesting happened, um, how I was feeling, stuff like that. Um, and then this one has prompts, so it has things like what was the highlight of today? So obviously you would write the highlight of 2015 on that day and then next year when you come back around to it you would you'd be able to see what the highlight on that day was a year ago. It has more generic questions which might not change each year, like city or country, because that's kind of an opinion and obviously between three years that might not change. I'm definitely looking forward to getting a year's done in both of these books, then obviously when you start the second year you're able to see the previous year's answer, and obviously in this one you see the previous year what you did on that day. This one I started a few weeks ago, so obviously I've got quite a long time to go until I'm able to see last year's answers, but this one I started on my birthday in May, so I've only got a few months left in this until I'm able to see what I did the year before. I then have my brain dump, which I explained a lot of this in my recent Q&A video. In here it's very personal. I use this a majority of the time before I go to bed. And basically once it's written down somewhere, I don't need to remember it in my head. It's, you know, I don't have to have that worry. It just helps to clear my head. Um, and the stickers on the front, I add a sticker every time I add something to the brain dump. I find sitting down and just writing and writing and writing very difficult. So the stickers kind of pull my creative mind into it so I can actually get this stuff down and get it out of my head. I'm still adding to my future listography. I haven't finished this yet. I still have quite a few lists to fill in. So yeah, it's basically all I hope to do in lists. For example, it has list activities and hobbies to try. And it just has a space of lines for you to add the activities and hobbies you want to try. Obviously every page is different um, and there's quite a lot in there to fill in um, and I'm pretty sure you can find this on Amazon. I've then got this little book which is from the Kiki K website. I did do a kind of first look video on this with a few other Kiki K journals I got so I will leave that link below if you want to have a look at that. It's undated so I can add to it whenever I want so this isn't something I add to every single day, it's just when a thought pops into my head and I want to write it down. I then have another Kiki K journal, this is the 101 Dreams journal. I really like this journal, I need to properly sit down and start filling this in more regularly. I've filled in a few pages, 
Um, it has four sections and kind of an intro and planning section. So it has like a dreaming vision board, so it's kind of like a brainstorming page. And then you have these tabs. So one year dreams are obviously things you want to achieve a little sooner. And then you've got three years, five years and ten years. Um, and then for example here, dream number 13, all of them just have a larger space to kind of plan and write a little bit more about the dreaming. I really love it because it has like little quotes and stuff and like motivational things throughout it, which I think is a really lovely idea. I'm then still doing my reckless journal. A lot of people ask me to do videos on this and to go through it or post photos and stuff. This is one of the journals that I tend to add to like late at night and kind of in my own time. And I find that works for me. If I was to sit down and film a video and I had to fill in something in this, it would kind of ruin the joy of it for me, I suppose. So I won't be doing videos on this. When I eventually finish it, I might do a flick through um, or something like that. But for now, it's just one of those journals that I fill in in my own time. This is from Tiger and it's pretty much a book full of images that you can add to and doodle on and just be creative with. So I'll show you an example of one I've done. So yeah, I just use a black fine tip pen. There isn't really a specific pen I use. I just add to the image with a black pen, basically. So obviously here I added the worm going through all the fruit. I haven't done a ton in this yet, it definitely takes time to add to it, but I really like the outcome. So yeah, that's how I use that little book. So onto planners, I am using this Mint Kiki K. I use this as my creative, designy Vilafax. Um, there isn't loads in it at the moment. There is some doodles and ideas, but I pretty much split the dividers into plain paper, then line paper. So yeah, it's there's not a ton in it at the moment. I haven't had a chance to sit down and just work on it, but that's what I'm using my Mint Kiki K for. I then still have my little list file of facts. It lives in this pouch. It still gets bunged in my bag every now and again. The pouch is from So Joey. I will leave a link to her shop and Instagram in the description. She makes some really, really amazing pouches for filofaxes of all sizes. She has loads of different fabrics to choose from. She lines the inside with this really soft kind of fleecy material. So yeah, it lives in this pouch. I have done a separate video on this a long time ago. It's pretty much a list filofax. So I have different sections. There's like a general section and then there's a favourite section. Um, there's kind of an observing section, I suppose. I explain in better detail in the video, which again, I'll leave a link below if you want to go watch that. I basically explain why I use this, how I use this, because it does seem like a bit of a random use for a Filofax, but I love it and I'm definitely gonna continue using this. And then lastly, I have my current Filofax that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. I am using the Daisies Filofax. I got this for Valentine's Day from my boyfriend. Absolutely love it. Um, it actually holds quite a lot. Like the strap is quite big so you can get a lot in there. It's got a really nice amount of pockets on the side. This is where I've got my diary, I've got my to-do list, my shopping lists. Um, basically anything that I'll need on a day-to-day -day basis it all lives in here. So yeah, I've obviously got a yellow <laughs> theme going on. I did have the same yellow theme going on in my Finsbury, my grey Finsbury, but it suited this Filofax just as well, so I'm really happy about that, so I didn't have to make a load of new dividers or anything for it. And these little planner charms as well, they're from Kawaii Studios, and I'll leave a link to her shop. She does the cutest little planner charms, and again, they match really well with this planner. So these are my current planners projects and journals. I feel like it has grown since my last video. Obviously since then I've come across a load of new things that I want to try um, and a lot of people might think well why have you got so many on the go like surely you can't keep up with them all and stuff but that's not why I'm doing them. I'm not doing them to get them all done as soon as possible. They are things that I leave on my desk every day and obviously if I'm in the mood to be creative I can pick one of the creative ones if I'm in the mood to write, I can just write. So yeah, they're just, they're all there, ready for when I want to use them. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and you might have spotted something that you want to try or buy. Let me know in the comments if you are currently using any of these and how you like them, what you use them for. I'd love to know. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.